Hey, what's up guys? It's Marquita. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're not new, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. On this video, I'm finally going to be writing in my 2019 goals, y'all. I've been a bit of a, a slacker. Yes, I'm willing to admit it. I have not written in my goals yet. So it is that time that I go ahead and write everything in so that way I can make sure that I'm staying on track with these goals and I can get some stuff accomplished in 2019. So that's what we're doing today. So if you're new here to my channel, I do hope that you will consider subscribing and also giving me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy it. So without further ado, if you want to see how I am going to be writing in my goals for 2019, make sure to stick around. All right, guys. So if you remember recently, I created this 2019 goals page and you guys went wild for it. I got so many tags on Instagram of you guys creating this or recreating this and I was just so blown away by the response that I got and the support that I got from this. And so uh, some of you have already written yours in or probably most of you have, but because I'm a little bit of a slacker sometimes, I have not written mine in yet. So today is the day that I do that. And so that's what we're gonna do. I promised you guys that I would do a video of me completing this thing. So if you remember, it is a tri-fold out. So we've got a page here, which is my personal page, ooh, 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 personal page. Then we've got the family page here. Then when you open it up, we've got spiritual, and then we've got home there, and then we've got our work, as well as our financial. So I'm ready to write this stuff in. So what I did is I created some sticky notes. And on these sticky notes, I have a different sticky note for each subject just to kind of get my ideas out of my head before I, before I wrote it on this paper. I didn't want it to get messed up or messy looking. I wanted it to be neat. So I wrote it on my sticky notes first. And so I'm going to lay these out in front of me off to the side. And then we're going to go ahead and write in this page. I'm excited about this. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and just open it up to the first section, which is going to be my personal section. And we're just going to write everything in. Yep, so I'm going to go ahead and just fold it down and then we're going to get this show on the road. All right, so let me pull my personal sticky note and I've got my Tombow pin here. I might not do as much hand lettering, but I'm going to try to do at least a little bit of hand lettering. And we're just going to start writing some goals in. Now on this page, I do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten personal goals. So I think this is where most of my goals lie and my spiritual goals. But everything's pretty even. So as you can see, I only have five spots. So some of the goals are going to have to be multiple goals within one box. And then I'm also going to split this out as well, just so I can get the most out of this whole entire spirit. So let's just go ahead and start writing some of them in. So what I'm going to do is just share with you what those goals are. And then I'm going to forward through the process of me writing them in so this isn't like an hour long video so some of my personal goals are I want to journal I want to just be able to write a journal right now I do keep a journal in my wellness section of my happy planner if you guys remember I have a personal development section here and my mini happy planner and I use the mini wellness planner uh oh my pen's about to fall out and so I I have a section here that says journal and I had started journaling a little bit but I've been really slacking off about it so I want to start writing in these boxes here on a more consistent basis so that is one of my goals is to journal and um, my next goal is fitness goals so I want to make sure that I'm working out three times a week that I'm tracking that in my fitness or my healthy hero planner I want to make sure that I am doing my water intake and my ultimate goal is to lose 50 pounds this year or more hopefully it's more but at least 50 pounds my next goal is I want to treat myself I don't spend enough time on myself um, a lot of times it's more time spent with the kids getting them what they need doing for them but I always get put on the back burner so I want to make sure that I am doing more for myself I also want to develop a hair care and skincare routine I don't have that right now um, I do have a little bit of a hair care routine I am a natural girl I have been natural for probably almost 10 years now and my hair has grown a lot but I've been neglecting it lately I'm neglecting it excuse me lately and I want to take care of that more um, my next thing is my screen time I want to spend less on social media less on my tablet less screen time in general um, I have it, it's gotten out of control and I need to uh, scale back a little bit so that is definitely a goal I also want to read more guys I'm not a big super huge book reader but I want to develop that in 2019 so I want to be reading at least 20 pages a day of whatever book I choose and I want to make that consistent so that is definitely a goal of mine that's a goal of my husband's as well I also want to make 
time for my hobbies. One of my hobbies, of course, is planning. I do also like other things besides planning, but I feel like because I'm so busy with my blog and my social media and my orders with my shops and everything, my hobbies have kind of fallen by the wayside and they don't really seem like hobbies, even though planning is a hobby. It doesn't seem like a hobby because it's more like a business now and I want to make sure I enjoy it. So that is definitely a goal of mine is to start doing more of my other hobbies too outside of just planning. I also want to get up when my alarm goes off. I don't know if you're anything like me, but when my alarm goes off, I hit snooze at least five times and I want, I set it for a reason. So I want to make sure that I'm getting up at the time that I set my alarm clock for. So that's important to me. So that is definitely a goal. And then I want to do a social media detox at least once a month. Not sure how many days during that month, but I definitely want to do a detox at least once a month. Social media can get out of hand sometimes. I am on it a lot. Check it first thing in the morning because it's part of my business and I just want to make sure that I have a clear head and that I am pulling back a little bit from it sometimes because it can get out of control. So I want to make sure I do a media social media detox at least once a month. And then lastly, I want to go to bed by 11. I'm a late person. I go to bed super late, sometimes two, three o'clock in the morning because I'm working because sometimes I'm the type of person that I have to get things out of my head. So if I have an idea, I'll stop immediately, go downstairs to my computer or I bring my laptop up and I'll work and that's bad and I don't want to do that anymore so if you guys remember recently I did post a block schedule and so I created one for the mini happy planner I just scaled it down I did actually create it a separate printable and so that is my block schedule and that has been working out well um, I do need to get better at it because it has been a little bit of hit or miss for me but as you can see my bedtime there is 11 and so I really really want to make sure that I am abiding by that and really focusing on implementing that hopefully you guys can see that y'all because sometimes my camera I'm still trying to figure out this lens y'all so that's why some of my videos have been I don't know some stuff has been a little bit blurry and out of focus and stuff because I'm trying to figure out this lens this is like a bomb lens uh, for me when I'm in front of the camera but I can't get it to work correctly the way I want with me shooting an overhead shot so I don't know if I'm gonna have to keep toggling back and forth between the settings but just so y'all know if y'all see stuff out of focus this is a almost a thousand dollar lens so I know that it is not the lens and the camera you guys know I have the ADD which is a ex pretty expensive camera as well so my husband got that for me for our anniversary and so I know you know my setup is good it's just a matter of tweaking the camera so that I can, I can get it to focus right but again when I do my face-to-face -face, it looks really good because it gives me the blurred background but got to figure this out y'all so if you guys have a Canon 80D or a Sigma lens let me know what are the appropriate settings for the camera for overhead shooting I've got it down packed for my face to face but I need to work on the overhead um, filming of like documents and wording and stuff so I'm sorry to go off on a tangent I just wanted to let you guys know because I have had some people wonder like what's going on why can't I see things on your paper that's why so I said all that to say that's why you can't see it and it's going in and out of focus but this is my blog schedule absolutely love it it is available as a free download on my blog as long as you're a member um, some of you guys have been having an issue downloading this um, my husband actually went through the motions of registering on his own and he said he noticed that it would put him in a loop as well but once he refreshed the page he was fine so once you log in and set your account up and everything refresh your page completely log back in and you should be good to go and if not send me an email and I'll send this to you directly that's what I've been doing for those who haven't been able to get it so back on track y'all block schedule has been working out wonderfully but as you can see uh, I have my bedtime or my sleep time for 11 p.m. and that is the goal that's what I want to do y'all I don't want to be staying up so late and I want to get up earlier um, so I want to go to bed by 11 that is my last personal goal so now I'm going to go ahead and write in all of these goals that I just mentioned to you and again I'm trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to write them in because there's not enough slots so I'm just going to do the best that I can um, to make sure I get it all on the page and I'll forward through that part of the process.
Okay, so I got all of my goals off of this sticky note and onto my page and I feel good about it. And so I wasn't able to write one goal in each box because I got a lot of personal goals. And so what I'll do is I'll probably create another one of these at six months and we'll revisit these and maybe we'll restructure the page. But I think at least getting it on paper is a good step towards the right direction. So I have two more boxes here at the bottom for more goals. So that works out even better. So I've got that additional space and all of my personal Personal goals are set in stone and so we are ready to go so now I need to go ahead and move on to family and I've got a lot of family goals as well so I'm gonna go over some of those goals with you but again we've got our sticky note here so they're all written out and that helped them to get out of my head and so now I have a starting point and um, so we're just gonna get these off the sticky note and onto the paper but I first want to go over them with you just so you know where my headspace is all right so we have eight goals here so my first goal and I switch it to family and friends that doesn't say family and friends but I know what it means so my first goal is to spend more time together as a family of course that is probably every family in the world and so we are no different we want to spend more time together I also want to do something fun as a family at least two times a month we do do a lot as a family um, we do do a lot with our friends as well but I again want to just have that there because it's still a continual goal um, I also want to make sure that we are more creative with our family worship I like to think that I'm a creative person Person, but sometimes we don't do like as much creative stuff as I want I like to think that I am a creative person but I want to work on more projects more fun things to really get the family engaged of course my husband leads the family worship but I do suggest ideas to him and since he feels like I'm more creative than him he's always willing to accept um, any of my um, suggestions and so I think that's important so of course your family worship for me is not always going to be like book book this you know or Bible this or Bible I mean, it is always based on the Bible, but sometimes I feel like you need to go outside of just the Bible and add different fun activities to it to make the family more engaged in it and to uh, make it more fun, especially since I have a five-year-old and a 14-year-old. So they are on two opposite ends of the spectrum, so I need to be able to make it fun for both of them. So that is a goal of mine. I do have um, inside of my actual faith, faith planner, because I do Franken plan or transform plan, so I do pull those inserts out and put them in my planner but I do have a dedicated faith planner and within that faith planner I have some inserts and on those inserts I have uh, family worship ideas so this is my actual faith planner and so let me just show you really quickly so you'll know exactly what I'm talking about but I have inserts in my shop these are part of those inserts and um, I have a page in here where I actually write in my family worship ideas I just have to find out where I put it Okay, here we go. I'm sorry. Yes, so I have lots of ideas here. So I love this page in my shop. Um, so that way, if you do family worship, you can write out all of your ideas um, and then you can write in the date that you complete them and put a little check mark next to them if they're a project or not, meaning that you need materials and stuff so you can prepare ahead of time. So I love this. Some of these we have done already, as you can see, and I probably need to check a couple more of these off as well. But I've got a ton of ideas here. Um, and so I'm constantly adding to these ideas just to make sure that I keep everything fresh and fun for the family and so that everyone enjoys it and they get the most out of it and it brings honor and glory to our God and um, he's happy with us because of course it is a part of our worship it is mandatory and so um, we want to make sure that we're doing that but it should also be fun and it sh you should also be taking something away from it it shouldn't just be about cramming you know information into your head um, because that is not going to help you in the long run you need to be able to really understand what it is that you're learning and since our kids are still so young um, doing projects and being more creative with that I think is very helpful for them to enjoy it get the most out of it and be able to talk about it with their friends because that is um, also a part of our worship is speaking to others encouraging them and um, helping them to see the benefits of uh, having a relationship with God so yes more family worship ideas more creative ideas is definitely a goal of mine for 2019. All right, so next up on my list is to explore new places. I feel like we're 
sometimes always stuck in Lawrenceville. I want to get out of Lawrenceville. I want to get to the city more. And then I also do feel like um, in Lawrenceville, Suwannee area, the area that we live in, we still haven't explored that yet. There's so many new places, new restaurants, new things to do. And so I want to explore at least two new places this year. So that is definitely a part of my goals. And I want to get to the city more, do more things downtown because there's so much to do in the Atlanta area, guys. So I definitely need to get out. So I'm taking suggestions as well. Family activities, um, you know, activities for uh, couples. Post them below in the comments. Let me know what you've seen if you live in my area. I also want to invite friends over more. I feel like because we had so many projects ongoing in our house, um, we didn't really feel comfortable entertaining as much. But now since we've kind of checked some of those things off, we are ready to have more friends over. So that's definitely a goal of ours. I also want to commend each other more. I feel like that's... Um, a constant goal you know we always want to continue and make sure that we're doing that um, but I want to just commend each other more just when they get up in the morning when they're leaving for school or um, just during our normal interactions I just want to say hey you did this so great today thank you so much I really appreciate it or you look nice today or you smell good today or you you know your hair looks so good I want to make sure that I'm commending my family and my friends more and so that is always a goal of mine I like to think I'm doing a good job of that but I think we can always stand to improve so that's definitely a goal. My next goal is to volunteer more as a family. Within our um, spiritual organization, we do have several opportunities to volunteer. And uh, we like to volunteer, but we want to make sure we put ourselves out there a little bit more to volunteer a little bit more. There's always things to do. And so that's definitely a goal of mine. And then I also want to take two vacations this year, at least. We do have a trip planned to Portugal. We are also supposed to be going to Paris, spending a week there after our uh, Portugal trip. We're heading right over to Paris. Um, but since there's so much going on there, I'm not sure how that's going to work out we were invited to an international convention there for our um, religious beliefs and so uh, we are super excited to be delegates and to ex and to kind of take in that whole experience and we're going with our teenage son so it'll be myself malachi my husband addison's going to stay with family because she's too young and then um so yeah so we're looking forward to that trip so if we don't go to paris it'll be greece uh, we might stay in Portugal for another week. I'm not sure yet, but that's one vacation. I also need to get Addison to Disney, y'all, for my sanity. Malika had gone by now. He went when he was six months old. Although they really don't remember it, I want her to go because I want to do the whole Disney thing. So that's definitely on my list. And then another vacation, maybe a cruise or something outside of that. So at least two vacations, but more would be even more welcome. So that's all of my family friend goals. So I'm going to go ahead and write them in and then we're going to move on. All right, so I've gotten all of my family goals written in. As you can see, everything looks great. And so we are ready to move on. And we're gonna be moving on to spiritual goals, which are super duper important. And so how I have it sectioned off, which I'm still trying to get it all figured out in my head, is monthly. So these boxes are monthly boxes, and these are as well. And then this is uh, a bo just a random box. So maybe I'll put a goal here that is not like an ongoing goal. It's like something I want to work towards that I can check off. And then these will be monthly goals because with your spiritual goals, as well as most of these goals, if you have planned them out like I have, they're always going to be something that you're working towards. It's not just going to be a check it off and I'm done. So here are my spiritual goals. So let's go over those. So first up is I want to meditate every morning. I feel like that's super important to get your day started off right. I also want to do my daily Bible reading every day. It is a daily Bible reading. So really quickly, let me show you how I do that. I have my faith warrior planner right here and i'm going to zoom you out really quick just so you can see a full view all right so how i do my bible reading because i don't think i have ever discussed this with you guys is i have a um, app here that i use it is called a lamp unto and within that app and this is all wrong so don't judge me by this because really a lot of this has been done but sometimes I can't do a Bible reading when the schedule tells me to I can't finish it and so it keeps it on that day so that's the only disadvantage um, so I'll need to refresh the app go in and change the settings so that way this is accurate and mark off what I've already done but I go into this app here and I look to see because the reason why I'm doing this because I do have a Bible reading schedule in here and that is right 
this is my weekly study schedule, but I also have a Bible reading schedule, but this is not in chronological order. And I want to do my Bible reading in chronological order. So if you guys are interested in where I got this from, let me know and I'll send you the link. I also have my weekly study schedule, which tells me what I need to be doing on a daily basis, just to reference that really quickly. But how I do it again, is I go in here, I say, okay, on January, whatever day I need to be doing Genesis one through four. So then I take that information and I write it here at the top. That's why I cover them up. I like them, everything to look cohesive and I'll write in Genesis one through five or one through four. And then I'll go ahead and uh, plan the next day out as well. And I have been doing that is just going ahead and planning out each day. As you can see, it gives you all of the days. And so you can pre-plan. And so that's how I have been doing it. But I'm thinking what I might do since sometimes I can't get to everything is I'll just put in, you know, the, the Genesis 1 through 4 here. And then the next day I'll put in the next one. Um, I'm still figuring that out because I technically can pre-plan. And I technically should be doing all of this. It's just that sometimes I'm so overwhelmed with everything that I have to do because as you can see there's three items for each day that I have to be doing so sometimes it can get a little bit overwhelming um, because uh, we are doing something spiritual every day and so yeah it, it becomes a lot but it's all for my benefit so I'm all here for it um, so maybe I'll just write in what I actually want to complete and work towards that goal and then I'll write in the days as the day comes up I haven't quite decided but that's how I have been doing it in the past is just going ahead and taking this information and writing it all in so I definitely want to make sure that I continue but I want to be more diligent I want to take it up to the next level with my Bible reading and not let it be hit or miss in terms of completing everything I'm supposed to complete I want to make sure that I'm all in and so the reason why I do that is because I like to read from um, a different Bible and so I don't click on here and read the scriptures from here um, I like to go into a different app and read the Bible from there and so that's what I do my next goal is to make sure that I am all prepared for all of our meetings we have several religious meetings during the week, one on Tuesday, one on Sunday, but different parts of that meeting, the meeting is broken down. Um, there's five meetings technically, and so I wanna make sure that I am prepared for each and every meeting. I also wanna make sure that I increase my ministry. I want to do three times a week as opposed to two times, um, and I also wanna do more different facets of my ministry um, and add that. Um, I wanna do more like cart witnessing. I used to do a lot. I wanna make sure that I'm adding that back in there more informal witnessing which is basically just talking to people in the store um, you know just impromptu um, you know if the situation warrants it just kind of mentioning the Bible and how it can help people in their lives um, I want to do more of that so just different facets of my ministry and also increasing it to an additional day a week to three times a week ideally Wednesday Friday and Saturday um, and then I also want to work towards pioneering and so um, that is definitely a goal of mine so that'll probably go in the box here I did pioneer for a year and a half Last year, my husband and I got to go to Pioneer School together, which was amazing. It was a lot, but it was amazing. The best week of, of probably of my life. And so I want to work towards that again and make that a goal, getting back on the Pioneer list. Next goal is to make sure that I'm commenting at the meetings, at least one to two comments. Um, make sure that I'm contributing to the meeting, to uh, upbuilding and encouraging comments to maybe help someone to kind of pull out some points that maybe they didn't see or just encourage people and just make sure that I am participating I think that is super important um, our meetings are question and answer based um, mostly our most part of the meeting so we have a chance to raise our hand and participate and just really express our self and um, you know kind of encourage the congregation and just let uh, people know what we have gleaned from different scriptures and so I think it's super important to make sure that I am commenting personally um, these goals do not have to be your goals they're just my goals and so that is definitely one of my goals uh, next up is to push the kids with their goals my son just uh, talked to the elders yesterday to become an unbaptized publisher some of you guys don't know what uh, the lingo is of some of this stuff that I am saying um, but basically that means that he wants to um, start increasing his ministry too if I could put it simpler um, and so he is ready to go and so hopefully he's working towards baptism want to push him towards that want to push Addison as well she's only five but she can still have goals as well so definitely want to um, make sure that I'm in tune with their goals and push them towards their goals uh, my next thing is I want to support my husband he is an elder in our congregation as well as the watchtower conductor and he's got lots of responsibilities want to make sure that I'm here for him I'm supporting him in whatever way that I can um, whether it be you 
you know, just not bugging him um, or, you know, or taking some of the workload off of him, you know, just just to help him as much as I can. And um, also we want to pray more as a family and individually. I think that's definitely important. So those are all of my spiritual goals. And of course, there's probably more and I'll add to this later if I need to, but I have a good starting point. So I'm going to go ahead and write in these goals really quick. All right, so I got all of my goals written in. I did add an additional goal, which is to read my daily text. If you don't know what that is, it is an app. And within the app, it has a daily text. So let me just show you really quickly because I know some of you may have questions about that. And so basically what it is, it is a scripture here at the top. And then there is a little blurb about that scripture to help you understand it more. There are also other cited scriptures there. And so this is what is considered my daily text. There's one for every day. So that is for today, which is Deuteronomy 13, 14, and then so on and so forth. So whenever you see me reference daily text, that's what it is and so i want to make sure i'm doing that daily and that is separate from my daily bible reading and so those are my spiritual goals again a lot of them are ongoing they're not um things that you can check off this is something i can check off that's why i put it here at the middle and then i have two more spots down here at the bottom for me to add an additional two goals or six goals actually because these have three bullet points each so i like that because i'm sure i'll be filling this whole entire page up so next we are moving on to our home goals now our home goals are really just things or projects we want to do at the house that is basically what this is going to consist of and so this isn't you know too deep it's really just things we want to do around the house. So just to let you know what those are, we want to finish our basement. Our basement is pretty much finished in terms of drywall, lighting, everything is done. It's just the flooring needs to be done and then I need to paint. Um, we did have some guys come in who were horrible. Um, they charged us to redo our basement, which uh, needed to be like a complete do like there was nothing it was studded out um and so they needed to do everything so they came to charge us a reasonable amount but they were horrible always late it took them like a month longer it was a horrible experience and then there were still things that weren't done correctly so we need to go down there and uh, finish some things up because it's like a whole space that is underutilized the kids do typically spend a lot of time down there and so um so that's great but we want to tighten it up so that we could do more entertaining down there as well so basement's definitely on the to-do list we want to do a garage redo uh, paint those floors again we did paint them recently or well, not recently but maybe about nine years ago or eight years ago but we want to repaint the floors again or just touch it up where it needs to be touched up add some shelving and so my husband wants that to be his workshop so he can build more things I also want to redo both of the kids rooms um, I'm not gonna like redo everything but I want to tighten up in there and just you know clean some things up um, our dining room as you guys know my husband is building a table for me he hasn't even started yet but I have a whole look that I want for my dining room, which let me just show you, by the way, because this is totally my goals and my inspiration in terms of how I want my lift, my dining room to look. And so I'm just waiting on my husband to get the materials and everything, and then we are ready to go. So that is my inspiration. It's super pretty, in my opinion. Some of you may not like it, but I love it, and I think it is just gorgeous. And so I'm going for a farmhouse theme. Not sure if it's going to look completely like this, but it is uh, a great starting point for me because um, I love the whole farmhouse Chip and Joanna theme and so that is what I'm going for and so that is hopefully somewhat of how it'll look in the end you can check out my Instagram if you want to see a better picture of that we've definitely got to get that dining room done I want to paint my foyer and add some either shiplap or some sort of wainscoting or molding uh, which we've done throughout our home um, any molding that you see for the most part um, on any videos that you see of my home uh, that is something that my husband and I did super easy to do so I'm probably gonna do more DIY projects showing you that part of the process as well on my channel so stay tuned for that hopefully you guys are here for that I'm um, also want to paint my kitchen I did paint it recently but I'm not really liking the color so I'm gonna go even more neutral I think and maybe like a taupe color or something like that so I need to repaint my whole entire kitchen and then I want to exterior paint our house it is time it needs a whole paint makeover we did get a new garage which was a lot it was $1,200 guys I didn't realize garage doors cost that much but we really needed it um, it was way overdue and so we went ahead and got it done and so that is done thank goodness but 
that will need to be painted as well but it, it does look okay for now um, but our whole outside of our house needs like just a, a makeover a little bit of a makeover in my opinion so that's definitely on the list so this basically is just projects around the house so I'm gonna go ahead and write those in Alright, that was easy. So again, we've got several more spots there for me to write in more things. So home section is done. So let's move on to work. So as you guys know, I do have a channel here on YouTube that you're watching right now. And I also have a shop. I have three shops. I have one shop on Etsy, which is Digi Prince Boutique. And that is my all digital shop, digital props, just various digital items. And then I also have my little Miss Fancy Plans, which is my sticker shop. And then I have a shop called the Purdy Girl Studio, which is like photo booth props, home signs, home decor, things like that. So I've got a lot going on. And then I also manage my social media as well as my blog, which I I should have added a section for blog but whatever I can put that somewhere else um, so my shops what are my goals for work so I want to make sure first and foremost that I am pacing myself y'all because sometimes I feel like I am at capacity y'all I feel like I have so much going on I don't know which way is up I need help I mean I just feel like it's a lot which is great this is what I wanted you know I left corporate America like eight years ago nine years ago and just never look back and I'm super just grateful that I have the audience you guys who are willing to watch my videos although sometimes I feel like I don't do a good job I feel like I'm all over the place but you guys have been riding with me and I appreciate that and you've been supporting my shops and my social media so I'm just I'm just amazed at you know the progress and, and where I started to, to right now although I'm not where I want to be but I'm just grateful and so I can't complain but sometimes I do feel like I need to slow down and so I want to pace myself so I did write a note there pace myself take things in stride be patient with myself and just slow down so I will probably write that somewhere maybe not in this video but I definitely want to have that as a reminder so my first goal here is that I want to have a brand deal guys I don't know is that a weird goal I don't think so but I definitely want to work with some brands and so um, that is probably going to be done through my YouTube channel or my social media so I do want to get at least one brand deal I have worked with some brands in the past and of course I am a part of the happy planner squad which is a super huge deal and a, a great brand to work with um, so I want to continue that if possible and then also work with more brands so I'm just gonna write brand deals because it doesn't have to be one brand and I do have something in a in the works guys that I may or may not be announcing I'm not sure if I'm gonna take it yet but I was approached by the uh, someone who is an affiliate with the New York Times that is working on something with Capital One and they had asked if I would be a part of it I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna accept it because it is based on budgeting and I don't feel like I'm great at budgeting at all I feel like I am a hot mess um, I feel like my last video was a bit of a hot mess because I'm still trying to learn and I just don't feel quite comfortable enough yet to maybe accept that deal um, because they do want a lot they want someone to film on site they want you to bullet journal your journey they want a whole list of things and so I'm not sure if I'm quite there yet so I haven't decided yet of course my husband totally thinks I should do it he thinks I'm crazy for even considering not doing it but I have to feel comfortable with this so that it comes across naturally on camera because again they want me to do um, videos of me um, them following my bullet journal journey and I probably use happy notes for that if I do decide to do it but they have a whole list of things that they want um, there is compensation of course um, but I, I just want to feel comfortable with it and I want to make sure that it's the right time so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that of course New York Times super huge big brand uh, Capital One super huge big brand but I just have to feel comfortable with what I'm doing so at the end of the day that's what I have to feel and if I don't feel that then I'm not gonna accept something where I could potentially not do as well at it and just look crazy make the brand look bad and then nobody wants to work with me in the future so I'm deciding y'all haven't quite decided yet um, so we'll see we'll see I have so many other people that I know will be way better at it 
than me um because again i'm not a super huge budgeter so i think that's my only down the only downside of it is that i just don't feel really comfortable with budgeting so we'll see i may or may not announce it later depending on if i accept it so y'all may not hear anything else about it so it, it just all depends so i definitely want to um work with more brands and then i want to make sure that i am answering all of my messages y'all sometimes i don't always answer and respond to comments like i should that is a goal of mine i want to respond to all of my comments even if it's just a thank you so i'm constantly working on that so that's a goal and so in terms of youtube I don't have any other things as far as growth. Like I'm not going to set a goal, get to 50,000 subscribers by this time. I just want it to happen organically. If I don't, I don't want to beat my head over, you know, beat myself in the head saying, you know, hey, I didn't achieve this goal. I just want to just let it happen. And if it doesn't happen, it's okay. I love my audience that I have, even if it's, I don't get to 50,000 or 100,000 subscribers. And I also want to be more in tune with my analytics on YouTube, y'all. I feel like I don't really read into them that much, but there are things that maybe I can improve on. And I think the analytics will really help me to see that, which videos you guys like more of so I can create that type of content. And so I really want to be more in tune with my, in, my analytics on YouTube and just really learn how to read them. And so I'm definitely going to make that a goal. Okay, and other than that, I want to have more space there just in case more goals come up. Um, and then in terms of my shops, I want to create new items, y'all. I don't really create that many new items. I have probably about 250 items in my shop now, but I have so many ideas of things I want to create. So I want to make sure that I'm creating more items. And I'm constantly adding and maybe have a schedule of when I post new things and then also post them, y'all. I don't really post anything pretty much about my shops on social media because I don't want to be pushy about it if you want to um, buy something from me then you already know because I put a link in my description box of my YouTube video and then I also do have a uh, Instagram little miss fancy plan so you kind of know where to find me and you can see based on that if you want to purchase from me and then you can go to my shop page and see what I have and if you want to buy something then that's great and if you don't then that's great too it's okay um, so I don't want to be pushy and I think that's what's holding me back from that and then also be because you know I do work with the happy planner and I don't want things to come off in the wrong way so I just try not to post too much about my shops but I do want to create more I definitely think that's important and then I also want to create a sticker book uh, you guys know I do have punchable sheets in my shop and so you guys have been asking so many of you have been asking of me to create like a um, book of like a certain um, sticker set it might be like all dots or all function or all boxes, something like that. I definitely want to create that. And so that is on my list is to create that sticker book. And then you guys can purchase them, um, you know, as a set with like maybe 10 sheets of stickers in them already. Or you can buy a la carte of like a pack of those 10 stickers to fill in your existing sticker book. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to structure it, but leave me comments below as well on what you think I should do in that regard as well. So I want to make that sticker book a reality. And you would just use a happy planner cover they do have a sticker book um, that you can buy from the store that comes with some sticky adhesives for you to um, take your stickers out of the sticker book uh, the existing happy planner sticker books overlay them on that sticky piece and then snap them into their pre-made cover and discs um, already set up for you you just snap them in and then you can create your own sticker book so you can buy that from the happy planner or you could just take an old happy planner um, cover cut it down to size and put some discs on it and then use my stickers to put them in there um, you don't need anything additional they are unpunched or punched from my shop depending on how you order them and so there's multiple ways that you can go about creating a sticker book but mine are all formatted to fit that sticker book from the happy planner that they create so I definitely want to create that sticker book and then I also want to create 10 new kits y'all at least I feel like I don't really focus on kits as much I want to create more kits so um, that is definitely a goal. And then my ultimate goal, guys, is just to inspire you guys. So if you feel like you're inspired by me, that is my main goal in terms of this whole social media thing. Putting myself out there like that is to encourage people, make sure that I am a positive light. I don't want any negativity. I don't want any drama. I'm all about positivity and happiness and just that's that's my goal. I don't I just want to make sure that I make that clear is that I'm not getting involved in any mess. I just want to um, be creative and share that creativeness with you guys. And if you feel inspired by it, go me. And if not, then that's okay too. 
so that is it for my work so i'm gonna write in my long and short term goals later i haven't decided what i want to write here yet but i know i do have a long term and a short term goal i just need to figure that out and then i'll write it in oh also forgot about my social media so my main goal is to respond to my dms y'all my dms are out of control sometimes i have a hundred dms <laughs> You guys are awesome. I love that you think enough of me that you want to encourage me and that you have questions. I'm always willing to answer questions. I'm not one of those type of people that just don't want to answer questions and it's very selective with what I share with you. I'm very transparent and I'll give whatever. You know, if it's something I bought and you want to know where I bought it from, and I'm going to tell you where I bought it from because it just is not that big of a deal to me. And I want to, again, encourage everyone. And I think if, if I've benefited by something, I want to share it with you. Um, so it's not that. It's just that sometimes I'm completely overwhelmed with the amount of direct messages I have. And it's just hard to respond to them all. And so I want to do better with that. I really do. Right now, I probably have maybe about 40 or 50 sitting. And I just cleared out 80. So yeah, it's a lot. But I appreciate it. I really do. And so... Um, um, I want to make sure that you guys know that I appreciate every single message that I get and I will respond to it. It just may not be for a couple of weeks. So FYI, but that is definitely a goal of mine. So, ooh, these are my budget goals. Let me put that back to the side and bring this back on out. And so, um, yeah, so that is definitely a, probably my biggest goal is to respond to DMs more and respond to comments more. And I don't have a goal again when it comes to social media in terms of I want to get to 50,000 followers by June because I just want it to happen organically. And so those are probably my two main things. And then also probably better quality pictures. I think I take pretty decent quality pictures, but I really want to get better at it. So I think, you know, it, it can only um, help me to better myself by having this as a goal. Okay. So I think that's good for now and I have more space to add more things as I see fit. So that is it for my work goals. Now we're going to move on to financial goals, which is a super huge struggle for me. And I think this is it, y'all. Yeah, that's it. After financial goals. Okay, I saved the hardest for last. All right, y'all. So I feel like I'm horrible at budgeting. I really am, if I'm being honest with you. I, I don't know. I just feel like I'm, you know what? Let me just say I'm learning. I'm still learning. And so uh, sometimes I'm the type of person that I want to get everything immediately. And I just don't always count. I don't always factor in the learning curve. And so I need to make sure that I'm factoring in that it is a learning process. People that budget well aren't just like that off the bat. They had to learn it. And so that's my biggest issue is that I am not a good, uh, in terms of explaining a budget maybe, um, either because I feel like I don't know, I feel like my, my last video was a little bit of a struggle but I did get through it and I do have budget goals and um, and I want to make sure I am on track with those goals so I did um, get these two happy planner stickers not quite sure how I'm going to put them in yet y'all because this is budget goals in terms of writing in a, a amount budgeted and spent but I don't want to use it like that I really just want to write in what my goals are so maybe I'll use this box to write in what my goals are. And then I'll use this box for something else. I don't know, y'all. I didn't really uh, look ahead to see exactly how I wanted to do this. But let me just share with you my budget goals. Okay. So I want to stick to my monthly budget. Sometimes I feel like that's hit or miss. Sometimes I overspend. I do too much. And I want to stick to my monthly budget. Once I budget it in my budget planner, I want to stick to it. Secondly, as I want to start my retirement plan, this YouTube thing is not going to last forever. Social media thing is not going to last forever. What's my plan B um, or what, my plan C? Because this is my plan B because corporate America was my plan A. And so what is my end game here? I need to save towards something and I need to work on like the end game. What What is, what is going to be my end game basically to put it simply um, I also want to save ten thousand dollars or more this year and then I want to do a spin cleanse which means that like okay so for me um, I don't repurpose things a lot I want to repurpose things more instead of like just tossing it um, I feel like I waste a lot and I don't want to do that anymore or less and even in terms of like leftovers and food and stuff like that like I want to be more um, cognizant of like doing better with using it more wisely if that's a good way of saying it so i want to do some sort of spin cleanse so i'm not sure exactly how that's going to work out but i'm sure i'll have a plan and i'll write it out and i'll share that with you um, i also want to work towards minimal living my husband and i have really really talked about this a lot we have accumulated a lot of stuff 
just stuff we don't even need we want to purge get rid of that stuff and just scale back a lot and just become more minimalists if that makes sense we really do in our head at least we're not sure if it's going to work out but i think if we work towards it it can only benefit us so that's definitely a goal I also want to read and learn more about budgeting. Like I said, y'all, it's a struggle. So those are my goals. So again, I'm not sure how I'm going to write it in because, yeah, because this is just the boxes aren't really laid out for that. So let's see. How do, maybe I'll write it off to the side and, and then I'll figure out how I can use those boxes later. So let's just write in those actual goals. So I want to stick to my budget. Okay, and then I want to retirement plan. Save at least 10K. Spin cleanse. If you guys have done a spin cleanse, let me know. What program did you use? What printable did you use? What helped you? Minimal living. And read and learn more. Okay, I also want to put my savings goal of 10K. And then I also have these little piggies down here at the bottom. Quarter one, like if I split that 10K up, I think in quarter one, I probably, since we have that Portugal trip, can save about $2,000. I think, yeah, $2,000 seems reasonable. Might be more than that. If you guys saw my budgeting video, I should be able to save more, right? So let's say quarter three, quarter two is going to be $3,000. And then let's do the same quarter three, two K and then quarter four, three K. And as that changes, then I'll just rewrite it in. But I think that's at least a good goal. So that's it guys. That is my plan. I know this is probably going to be a super long video, but I had to get it all out y'all. I promised you guys I was going to do it. And I wanted to talk you through the process as well, as opposed to just writing it in and then you know, not letting you see like how I came to these conclusions. But that again, we have our personal goals here. Then we've got the family goals there. Spiritual goals here. Our home goals. Then we've got our work goals. And finally, our financial goals. Again, I got to figure out how I'm going to use those boxes. But I think for now, it's a great start. And I feel just so at peace having written this in. Again, I should have written it in a long time ago, but I just wasn't quite ready yet to get it all out. And now that I have, I just feel a sense of relief and I feel good about myself and I'm ready to attack these goals. So hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video. Hopefully that zoomed in view was better for you because I feel like you could see my page more clearly. So hopefully you feel the same. And so thank you guys so much for watching today. If you filled in your goals page, if you created a goals page and you haven't tagged me yet, tag me on Instagram so I can see it guys. I really would love to see it. And for those of you who have tagged me, I loved each and every one of them. And I really, really uh, am thankful that you thought enough of me and you saw value in this to create one for yourself. So thank you so much for tagging me. I really appreciate it and they they were just so fabulous so thank you so much and thank you for watching this video today i hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here and giving me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and you will also consider joining me for another video in which case i'll see you then